Hey yo guys, um, I was just woke up and uh, sorry guys, I look all rough and scruffy. I need to be, I will be cutting my hair today and shit like that. But I was really wanting to make a video because this is really kind of getting to me, and I think it's as as black people. Y'all really need to really think about, you know, who makes sense and who doesn't make sense. Um, this video will be called I Fucks With Boys Watkins, Not Yvette or Antonio. I will, I, this video will be called that. And I want people to comment, to make their comments. Make your comments, make your comments. Make your comments. But here, see, but see, here, see y'all, people who've been following me as far as, as, as a subscriber, you understand I am very analytical and I bring good analogies. So, how am, how can I start this off? I think we as black people, I think that it's very pathetic and disappointing and pathetic and pathetic that you have black people really thinking that white folks are going to come save us. That somebody needs to come take care of us. Somebody needs to come give us this and come give us that. And someone needs to come do this. And we're so pathetic that we can't take care of ourselves. That is some straight bullshit. That is a poor mentality. And I'm not saying, excuse me, but I'm not saying that's, that's, not, that's not all black people. Because I'm not one of those people. Because I'm about starting businesses and owning shit and ownership. I'm about creating institutions. A lot of y'all black people don't understand. Even after, do y'all know after slavery... That a lot of black folks started their own businesses. Black Wall Street was created by black folks. And it wasn't just Black Wall Street. A lot of there were a lot of businesses thriving, a lot of areas and businesses thriving after black people, after slavery. Yes, of course, we all know white folks. You gonna you they get jealous and so you want to kill and destroy and, and, and do all that other shit. We all understand that. That doesn't but still, even with that being said, that doesn't mean we can't we we can't we can't we we can't do that again all all we need to do is look at the mistakes that we made and say hey we need a defense system we need to focus our money have our own defense system to where we're protected by these people and if we're and, if, and like i said and if the white folks gonna come and try and do that to us again we gonna fight we gonna fight you ain't gonna just come and rub shot against us you ain't gonna do that bullshit Period. And that's and that's really what we will have to focus on. It's really our defense system because we have the money to focus on our defense system. Black once again, look at black people. Look at Desto, Texas. Desto, Texas is basically a predominantly black Wall Street. Look at the uh, black entrepreneurs out there in Houston that's doing the damn thing out there in Houston. You better do your research. Look at those people how they, and what they, and what they doing and how and how they're progressing out there in those areas. Don't sit here and talk to me that black people can't take care of themselves and we can't start our own businesses. That's stupid. Dr. Boyce Watkins has been putting in that work. I have to respect him. He, he's been putting in that work and he has inst he has URLs that teaches, teaches black people how to start our own businesses, how to understand finances and shit like that. Someone who has a PhD in finance. Now, I'm not saying education is the, education is the end all to be all because you got a lot of, trust me, you got a lot of white folks who claim they're educated, but they sound fucking stupid. And the same thing goes for some black people too. But it's ridiculous. Yvette Carnell and Antonio Moore ain't provide no solutions. All they're saying is black people are so pathetic that we need somebody to come save us. Wham. Wah, wah, wah. Just crying, just crying and complaining and complaining. And that's what a lot of white folks do. We're com we want to be, a lot of us want to be activists. And we want to, and then we're going to, and then after we get done being an activist, what do we do? We go, to, we go back to Walmart. We go back to working for IBM, dealing with racism. This is pathetic. This mentality that a lot of us as black folks have needs to, I'm not saying all of us, but uh, some of y'all need to get rid of. You know what? I'm going to say this. So if y'all really think that the government, I, I believe that we have the right, I, I pay taxes. All of us in the black community pay taxes. So it is important to keep the government accountable. It is important to, to push, to, to push, to push, uh, to push our, to uh, push the government to do what we're supposed to be doing. But to sit here and really think that we don't supposed to know financial literacy? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know how stupid that sounds? Do you know how dumb that sounds? This woman, Yvette Carter, had a video, made a video talking about if you know, black people shouldn't learn financial literacy. Do you know how...
That's pathetic. That is beyond inferiority complex. That is pathetic. Well, you know what? You stay in the fucking poor. You keep shoveling shit. You keep allowing these white folks to keep disrespecting you and treating you like fucking shit. Y'all keep doing that. You live that life. Y'all live that life. Y'all sit around and watch TV and complain about Donald Trump this and that when you know damn well these white folks don't give a fuck about you. So you, y'all, you see all you, you know, black people who want to sit around and and bitch and complain that you know we 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 can't start our own businesses and this and that so we need somebody to come save us okay well that poor mentality you go do that okay you go sit there and be poor and be pathetic while me and and god the boys Watkins and all the black people who, who are starting our own institutions we gonna start our own institutions how about that we we gonna so when you are ready and you come to a circumference that uh that you're going that you're like if you when you when your common sense comes around you can come work for us you can come work for us you know you know welcome to the you know like i said i black people hey i'm always invite and, and take care of my own people but the mentality has to change for us as black folks that is stupid I, you, it, y'all i'm gonna say this the 2001 super bowl everybody knows Everybody who knows football knows the St. Louis Rams was a better team than New England Patriots. The New England Patriots, did they complain? Did they say, oh, they got Marshall Falk? Oh, they got Torrey Holt? Oh, they got this, they got that? No. They said, okay, we ain't got what they got, but you know what? We got to be strategic. We got to work with what we got. We got to get physical at the line of scrimmage. We got to hit these guys. Don't let them get free releases. Run the football, run the clock. We gonna have to do things differently because we ain't got what they got. We can't play tick for tack with them offensively or let alone kind of defensively. We have to work with what we got. We have to turn this game into a physical game. The 2004 Indianapolis Colts was a way better team than New England. But what happened? They was like, you know what? We can't we can't play with these guys. But you know what? They're gonna come to our house. They are coming to our house. In the divisional round, they're coming to our house, so we have the we have the field advantage because they are, they're not playing on turf. So what? What we gonna do? We gonna rough their ass up. We gonna hit their ass, and we gonna make these people. We gonna make them run the football on us. I didn't hear Rodney Harrison or Tom Brady and them bitches complain. Oh well, you got Peyton Manning and you know you got Marvin Harrison and oh my God, you got Brandon Stokely and. <laughs> Man, we can't do it. Uh, we can't. No, they didn't do that. <laughs> like y- y'all, I don't understand that shit. I don't understand that shit. Yes, yes, the wealth. Yes, there is a, a wealth gap, but that wealth gap can end tremendously for the next decade and generations if black people perpetuate to the solution as far as taking care of self, taking care of our own people. I don't hear Hispanics complaining. Y'all, I don't. I don't know what y'all, what world y'all live in. A lot of Hispanics come from 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 areas where they're making four dollars an hour. I'm not once I'm not comparing the Hispanics to blacks because black people we have our own unique experience and what has happened to us is unique. What I am saying though is that the the Asians ain't ain't sitting around. The Asians don't even vote. They just say we gonna unite. We gonna own shit. We gonna take it pride in owning shit and owning our own institutions, our own distributions. But you're not gonna sit here and tell me, and nobody's not gonna convince me that Hispanics and the Arabs and the and the Asians are so fucking special that 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 they can start their own businesses, they can come together, they can do this and do that. But for some reason, oh my God, black people, oh no, 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 we can't, no, no, get the fuck out of here. That's the most dumbest shit in the world. That's the most dumbest shit anybody can say. This shit is annoying, dude. I'm tired of hearing that shit. And people getting in the comment section talking about show us data, show us data. Shut the fuck up. How about you go? How about you go show us the solution? You show me the solution. Once again, I can't reply to everybody because I ain't got time to sit here and reply and, and, and get on, be on my phone and reply to everybody on how stupid you sound. But any black person who really think that oh we can't surpass, we can't we can't uh, close the wealth gap and surpass everybody, because that should be the goal is to surpass everybody, is to own resources and institutions and businesses all across the globe. We can do that as black people. We are special people. White people has been on this earth for six thousand fucking years. What have they done to show you that they're gonna do something for for for, for black people? Seriously, I want you to show me. Someone needs to tell me something. Some 
that's tell me how how have they what have they done that's going to literally empower black people i ain't talking about a simulation and all oh, come work for me and all that bullshit i'm talking about how what are you going to tell me that's going what, what are they doing to that's going to empower black people But black people, we've been on this earth for 90,000 fucking years. 90,000 years. Once again, this is why it's important to know y'all history. Every time a racist white person comments on YouTube or social media, whatever. You know what I tell they bitch ass? I say, bitch, you better shut the fuck up because if it wasn't for black men, you would still be in those caves in the Caucasus Mountains. During the dark ages, y'all came to y'all came to us for knowledge, not the other way around. So you better shut the fuck up with that nonsense. That's what I tell them all the time. All the time, all day, every day, when they want to speak that white supremacist bullshit. During the dark ages, when y'all had nothing to do, you came, we say, in Africa, we was like, hey, come hey, come over here. Come over here. Let me teach you this math. Let me teach you this science. Let me teach you this astronomy. Let me teach you, uh, uh, let me teach you this technology. Fuck out of here. Makes no damn sense. Y'all, y'all sound crazy as fuck. You're not gonna tell me that the original people on this planet, there that we're just we the original people on this planet can't take care of themselves. You're not gonna convince me of that. You're not gonna convince me of that. I don't give a fuck where white folks are at. Yes, white folks have an advantage, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean we can't do for self. That doesn't mean we don't do what we're supposed to be doing. That's insane. We still got to take care of self. Once again, $1.2 trillion in spending power. What does that mean, Corey? What does that mean? For a fucking example, if these Asian businesses that are in our neighborhoods, if black women, or shit, black men too, stop supporting these businesses, they're not making no money. That's what the fuck that means. So if all black people say we ain't going to fuck with Walmart no more, Walmart is going to lose a lot of fucking money. Do y'all un- you got to understand economics to understand that. That's what that means. Period. I think Nike and Jordan, I think their stock is down because people are not buying their shoes as much as they used to. Come on, man. It, it don't, y'all, y- y'all got to understand economics, man. Like, like some of y'all, this is crazy. You got to understand economics. You don't, I, I can't fuck, I don't want to list the people who don't know economics. So those people are irrelevant to me. Period. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't understand economics. Period. That's you're irrelevant. And I'm telling y'all, when it comes to these jobs, a lot of these jobs are going to uh uh disappear, and probably because of technology. But a lot of these jobs are going to be disappearing soon because paying workers that's an expense. That's not a lot. That's not a uh uh. That's not a boost in income. That's an expense. So if it gets to a point to where, it, you never know, Walmart might get to a point to where they're going to do a lot of self-checkout aisles. And they might have only a few cashiers. You never know. So y'all keep with that poor attitude. You keep, you know, some of y'all, I'm just not talking about all black people. Because I'm with the builders. I ain't with the sit around, get along. I ain't with, I ain't about to, you know, I ain't with these uh, black people who want to sit around and hope and pray. And and, and binge and complain, 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 complain. Do y'all know white supremacy? And this is the thing about white, white folks. Do y'all know every time they kill us, the police? You know what they do? They, you, do you know? And I'm talking about behind the closed door scenes. Do you know what they do? They say these niggas, man, just chill out. These niggas, they, 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 they mad right now. They're gonna march. They're gonna march. They're gonna complain. They're gonna march and complain and complain. But two weeks later, they're gonna forget about it and they're gonna continue to be niggas again. So don't even worry about it, bro. Don't even worry about it. Let's go kill another nigga. That's really their mentality. That's their mentality. Freedom is not given. It is taken. And until black people understand that, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know to tell y'all whatsoever. But freedom is is, is freedom is freedom is, is is taken. It's not given. Donald Trump, I once again I do not do I like him? No. But I respect the fact that he took he took the president. He he took he took it. Was he qualified? No. But he took it though. I mean, Donald Trump is a definition of power. Nobody can't tell him what to do. Nobody can't do this, do that. Because he, he makes his own money. He's not controlled by anybody. And part and part, part of the reason why black people are so vulnerable is because we are controlled. A lot of us are controlled by white folks. You're pathetic. Y'all are pathetic if y'all really think that someone's gonna come save us. And I'm talking to any. And like I said, I don't. Hey, hey look. 
anybody who wants to comment and make and make their I guess make their argument, you make their argument. But all I'm saying is, you tell me what have white folks done on the on in what have white people, what have these people done, white people, what have they done over the six thousand years they've been on this earth, what have they done to empower black people? You tell you tell me, cause I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I I can't name nothing. Honestly, I can't name nothing. I mean. I can't name nothing. I, I really can't. I can't even think of anything that, you know, I can't do it. You know, I mean, I, I don't know what, I don't know. But black people, y'all got to get rid y'all got to get rid of this old, this old, this poor mentality. The poor, I'm going to start calling it the poor mentality. Where we think that we're so pathetic. We sitting around, I, and I, I just got done talking to a close friend of mine. Um, one of my teachers who I went, who who I who taught me in high school, and he even told me that you got I got brothers on the east side over here on, on in OKC talking about all the white men bringing me down, doctor. You know the white men bringing me down. You know what I'm saying, They're holding me down. Get man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You better get out here and put in that work. You better get out here and learn how to start a business. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Nobody ain't feeling sorry for you. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know what the fuck is going on with some of these some of these black folks. But I'm a just I'm rolling with the black people who are about building the black community over again. Um, I'm about unity and black love. I ain't with all of this liberal bullshit. Sit around and 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 and, and suck on the white man's dick because he needs to come take care of me. He needs to come. He needs to come do this and do that. Let me get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck, that's the most dumbest shit in the world. Black people, do you know you don't have to, for example, do you know you don't have to go to college to learn how to code, right? You, you, if you, I'm talking about the people who are involved in technology. Do you know you don't have to go to college to learn how to code? You do know that there's an online program. It's called Code Academy. You can learn that for free, right? You know that, right? Learn that shit on your own. You don't need nobody to tell you if, if, if there's resources out here to where you can learn that shit on your own and you have to put yourself through student loan debt, then you do that. Dr. Boyce Watkins, you learn how to start a business. He has programs that's like, what, $99 a month, $100 a month just to learn how to start a business? Come on, man. That's not, that, that's, that's a good price. To, to me, that's a good price. Because I just got done finishing school and I'm, I'm in $26,000 in debt, which... To me, that's a lot. But for some people, that's like, well, that's not bad. But to me, that's still a lot. When I could have, I mean, I wish, like I said, I wish he could have brought up the black business school ahead of time. I would have got involved in that. I wouldn't have mind paying $100 a month, $100 a month, uh, learning how to start a business. Come on, man. All this shit that some of y'all are saying is fucking stupid as fuck. And I'm not talking about all black people. But all I'm saying is, you go to the Research Desto, Texas. The, even if I, even Phil Advice Show has a video of Desto, Texas and all those black businesses that's prospering. You you do the research. You look up and you research the black entrepreneurs out there in Houston that's doing the damn thing. And shout out to those uh, black people out there in Houston doing the damn thing black as far as black businesses and, and creating institutions. Y'all doing the damn thing out there. Come on, man. And I don't think, I don't even think, though, I, I didn't name a few. I think there's, um, even in Philly, you, they doing the damn thing as far as, you know, black businesses. Come on, man. Come on, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy, y'all. Stop. We we out here. There are, I think if you look at this, even the statistics, there are over, I think there's over 10,000 business, black businesses or 100,000 black businesses that are, that, that are, that are, uh, that are fun that that are uh full benefit that are that have what full wages and benefits for their employees come on man like let's let's cut that no nonsense out dude let's cut that shit out all i'm saying is you know what if you want to if you want to sit around and pray and hope and and and, and let your bones uh, mer let your bones turn into dust and wait for people to come take care of you. You keep doing that. You Yvette keep your vet keep uh your vet Carnell, you keep doing that, Antonio Moore, you keep doing that. You wait for these pack of woods to come save your bitch ass. And I don't mean the cuss and stuff, but it's annoying. I'm tired of negative negative Nancy's. I'm tired of these 
these these negative black people who who constantly want to tell black people, oh, oh no, bro, we we can't do that because we ain't got this, we ain't got that. You don't need trillions of dollars to start your own education system. That's insane. You can create flashcards. There are online, there are homeschool uh, programs on the fucking computer that y'all can get that y'all can get onto. I'm talking about black folks. Y'all can get uh, y'all can get on. Uh, even Dr. Boyce Watkins has a uh, homeschool program with what's uh, what's her name, the African. I forgot her name. Uh, Yoma Lange, Sh- Shali Moses, I can't even say her name right, but she has a homeschool program for black children, and then even if it's, even if you're not fucking with that, there are homeschool programs online that y'all can have y'all children take, you don't even have to take them to the public school system, we all know the public school system don't do nothing for black children, like, what are y'all talking, like, seriously, oh my god, I, I, I had to, I had to make this video, y'all, because it needs to be said, it needs to be said, it needs to be said uh, because this the, the I'm tired of I'm tired of the comment sections. I'm tired of people moaning and complaining. I'm tired of because I got family members who come home bitching, complaining, bitching, complaining, bitching, complaining, bitching, complaining, bitching, complaining, bitching, complaining about how white folks treat them. Seriously, learn how to start a business and get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I'm still I'm reading so many stories. Over and over again on Advice Show TV or Cynthia G, how these white teachers are treating black children. Get the fuck out. Why do we as black people take pride in how much we can endure? Do you know how what a mental illness that is? Why do we take pride in that? I'm not gonna take pride in that, and I'll never endure anything that disrespects me or that degrades me, me and my children, when I do have children. Period. I'm not doing that. That is pathetic. That is a mental illness. I'm going to retaliate by either fucking you up or getting the fuck out or suing you, but really just getting the fuck out. But either it's going to be all one of those, one of those three. It could be a sue. It could be where I'm fucking you up. Then I'm going to get out. It's going to be one of those. But I ain't about to, because because even in the civil rights era, I couldn't live in that era because I'm, I, I couldn't, with my mindset, I couldn't live in that era. The mindset that I have now, because I'm not going into a restaurant full of white folks knowing damn well they don't want me there. I'm not about to get in a restaurant and get spit on and call niggers and shit. What kind of dumb shit is that? What kind of what kind of pathetic? And why 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 we want to take pride in enduring pain and 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 and, and, and poverty and shit? That's the most dumbest shit in the world. You are pathetic if you think if you stay poor. You are you. It's our it's it's our fault as black people. Yes, a lot of us come from poor environments. Yes. But if you if you want to stay poor, that is your fault. That is not on white supremacy. That is your fault. That is your fucking fault. That's your fault. And another thing, y'all want to keep the government accountable, but y'all can't even keep these rappers and athletes accountable. Floyd, look, I respect Floyd Mayweather, but he has more than enough money to start schools, black schools for black children. Him and him and a lot of these athletes can come together and buy up land and all types of shit uh, to start schools. Y'all can't even keep these people accountable. Come on, man. It's, man. That's all I have to say on this video, man. I mean, hopefully, I mean, y'all give me your opinions. I mean, give me your opinion on, you know, as far as the solution. But you're not going to sit here and convince me that the original people on this fucking planet cannot do anything for them fucking selves. Seriously. Do you know how pathetic it is that in South Africa, that 10% of the population, which is white folks, which is Europeans, controlling the resources of a population in South Africa where a majority of those people are Africans? Do you know how pathetic that is? There are some things I cannot blame whites. There are some things that I can't. There are, there are just some things that as a black man that I can't even blame white supremacy on. Because they're like, look, if you're going to be pathetic, if you're going to be a stupid nigga, then of course I'm going to take advantage of you. Of course I am. If you want to love me and try to be compassionate with me and be around me because of your low self-esteem, shit, of course I'll take advantage of you. Of course I'll take advantage of you. Get the fuck out of Of course I'll. Let me get these resources out here because these niggas are stupid. Come on, man. Be smart about this shit, y'all. Some of y'all don't make no sense. Be smart about it. Makes no damn sense. I don't know, but I mean, 
I'm not going to make this video any longer than what it is, but I, I just had to speak on this because I think that as a community, the poor mentality and, and, and vision complaining and, 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 and oh my God, someone come save us needs to stop. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. That's why when it comes to entrepreneurship, I fuck with other entrepreneurs. I talk to other entrepreneurs. I don't talk to I don't talk to people who don't own a business. Yvette Carnet don't even own her own fucking business. He, Antonio Moore is a fucking lawyer. Does he own his own uh, lawyer firm? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I'm not knocking these people. I'm just saying that this 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 I'm not I'm tired of people with this dumbass mentality. I do agree with them that, yes, we should keep the government accountable because we, we pay taxes, and that is true. But don't sit here and try to knock someone who, who, who is teaching financial literacy and teaching black people to learn how to start a business. The black community should be focusing on taking care of self and keeping the government accountable at the same fucking time. But if you're going to sit here and say, I have to choose one or the other, I'm rolling with Dr. Boyce Watkins because, like I said, the Asians don't even fucking vote. The Asians don't give a fuck about no damn vote or don't give a fuck about no goddamn de government. Why is that? Because they got economic power. I'm pretty sure, I don't, I never talked to Hispanic about uh, politics, but I'm pretty sure the majority of Hispanics don't give a fuck about no voting. Because why is that? Because they got businesses. They got businesses and they can take care of themselves. They ain't worried about a goddamn thing. A lot of these children don't even probably go to school because why is that? Because we got money. Shit, we got money to take care of ourselves. We good. Stop with the nonsense, y'all, man. Take care of yourself. Stop being a fucking baby. Stop war Stop. Stop sucking on the white man's dick. Stop depending on a group of people who never fucking like you, who will never will like you. Stop being pathetic. That's all I got to say. Stop being fucking pathetic. That's what I got to say. Because I, I have to say stuff like this. Stop being pathetic. Take care of yourself. I'll never, I'll never bitch and complain. I, 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 I even hold myself accountable. If I don't have my own institutions, my own institutions and my own legacy where I'm, I can pass something down to my children, then my life was a fucking failure. That was my, that's my fault. Because black people, we are we are great people. We are the greatest people on the planet. And particularly black men, we are the strongest men on the planet. And don't let nobody tell you that you're so fucking pathetic that all you can be is nothing but a nigga, an athlete, what else? A thug, what else? Uh, bound to the white man, you so pathetic. No, don't let nobody tell y'all that. That's some dumb ass shit. And I'm, and I'm just saying that black men, don't let nobody tell you that. And don't let other black men tell you that. You get away from black men who want to sit around and bitch and complain and shit. Want to tell you, you got brothers who want to tell you stories about what they did uh, in high school and, and on the corner and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. You got old ass motherfuckers like WAC 100 going around on a video. Uh, like, what? Like, bro, you 40, my dude. What you, you still game banging? Come on, man. None, it's pathetic, dude. It's pathetic. Like I said, there are some things that I cannot blame white supremacy there are some things that that i just can't i can't i can't do it y'all i can't because we as black people we have to change our mentality we have to segregate ourselves and separate ourselves from white folks and have our own areas of institutions i'm not saying we i'm not saying we we don't have to do business with white people we can all i'm saying is we're not going to work for you we're not going to sign up to no partnership that's going to enslave us hell no fuck you you suck me you kiss my fucking ass but we need to segregate ourselves, get away from the public school system. We need to segregate ourselves and have our own businesses. Everybody can't work for white folks. We need to segregate ourselves and create our own distributions, have, grow our own food. All of that. All of that. We can do it. But you have to believe it. You have to believe it. You have to believe it. Okay. For I mean, seriously, you have to believe it. Super Bowl. The Atlanta Falcons was up 28-3. to 3. I mean, and what happened? Obviously, the New England Patriots believe like, hey, we can come back. We can come back. Even though we're down by, by a 25-point deficit, we can come back. And what happened? They did. You got to believe it. If you don't believe it, but if you want to sit on your morals and don't believe it, and you want to be pathetic and, 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 and feel sorry for yourself, and, oh, oh, yeah, but the white man got me down, bro. The white man got me down because... And you know, da, 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 you know, I can't do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? On me, bro, on the shed. Like, I can't, bro. I can't do it, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody don't feel sorry for you. And even black men, that's why a lot of our women don't respect us, bro. Come on, man. Fuck all that shit. Get out here and put in that work. Put in that work.
Don't wait. Don't don't let. Don't wait for nobody to tell you anything. Don't wait for nobody to pay you nothing. You go out here and you make that money. You go out here and start businesses and institutions, and get other black men who are involved, who want to support, who want to support you, who want to ride with you. So once again, y'all, I'm not gonna make this video too long. But all I'm saying is, is that black people, we gotta take care of ourselves. And economics is where it's at. That's 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 the future. That's where it's at. So all the poor people and all the all the so-called poor people who want to sit around and mope and dope and wait for somebody to come save them. Okay, well you sit in the hood or whatever. You sit there and I'll come right back because I'm gonna make the hood a better place and you can come work for me. Okay, so you sit there and you keep complaining. Okay, I will be right back. Let me go build. Let me go build and make this money. Let me go create jobs for some for a lot of black people so that way you know I can. Uh, eventually come back and buy up the hood and we can make the hood a community instead of the hood come on man this shit don't make no fucking sense man it's pathetic like motherfuckers want to oh my god I... anyway y'all let me know in the comment section what it is man i mean you know i want your i want your opinion what's up i mean you know um, y'all know I speak, I'm, I'm very analytical, I'm very, I, I create analogies and I simplify things to make people understand what the fuck it is out here, particularly in America. So, y'all let me know what it is, man, so I'll talk to you soon, I'll be making some more videos, you know, I mean, really, I don't, you know, I'm not really a full-time YouTuber, I'm just really doing this to, to give knowledge to black people, you know, so, but y'all let me know what it is and I'll talk to y'all soon.